Yeah, more uh, consumed resources here. You can wait right here. I can see. I can read them. Okay. Man, be careful! Don't trip with those. Watch out! Don't, don't get stuck on your uh, your your yeah. light, your, your don't tire. Get, don't get your hair. I don't want to get stuck door. on the doorknob and you choke on it. Was that threatening or what was? No, I said I don't want you to get stuck to get on. on I don't want you to get stuck on it. Give me the cards. I'd appreciate um, it. He's here in person. You're yeah, going to send him to a website. What happened to uh, customer service? You just want to sit on your butt and collect money? Okay, I talk to yeah, you? I mean, I was kind of conducting business. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead and finish. All right. No, you, I thought you turned them off. Oh, Oop, by going like this, holding them up. Yeah. I'll pay you for the content. No. No. It's a hundred dollar bill. It's real. So this is a private room. Can you hear this? Our conference room. Yeah, but where does it say private? I'm just curious. Um, it's implied. I'm gonna be reversing, so if you can just stand where it's safe. I don't need your directives, ma'am. Just get in your car and you drive safe, all right? Put your seatbelt on. Shout out Angry Vet Audits. Got you. Never like those guys. Or the police. Yo, body cam off so my camera stays on. Crooked ass cops won't like this song. Gotta film the police when they do something wrong. I'ma film the police when they do something wrong. What's up, everyone? This is Angry Vet Audits, and I'm out here in Pleasanton, California with Anthony Eggs. We are here to serve a notice of intent to sue the city and perform records requests. Heidi Murphy, the Libraries and Recreation Director, has been using YouTube privacy complaints to try and take Anthony X's video down. The government cannot ban or punish publishing something. It is protected by the First Amendment. In fact, while we were there, another city employee filed a privacy complaint. We will be net back next week to file complaints on public employees and serve another intent to sue. Make sure to watch to the end to see how much attitude these public employees have towards the public. Mount up and get ready for the ride. Oh, so this is the official ballot box. Yeah. Carla Brown, the mayor. City attorneys. What the heck is this? Looks like it's decorated on a Barbie thing, guys. Let's try this one. Hello, guys. We got the mayor, city council, city manager. Those are actually the people that this letter is addressed to. Let's go check this one out. Yeah. Hello. 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 Please stand behind us. Oh, I gotcha. I'll put my mask on for you just to be safe. Cannot go past this point there. That's employees only. Well, I wasn't trying to point. get my gun. I'm here to talk, conduct business now. I can't read, so yeah, mm -hmm. appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I was wondering: is the city manager and/or mayor available? No, they don't sorry, have a walk-in policy. Right now. Gotcha. So I'd like to turn something in here. I am officially serving the city with an intent to sue demand letter. Um, I'm doing it right here with the city clerk there was office. no one at here so I'm going to do well, this to you I'm sorry, no. by law you're required to, to, to grab this and put it to the right people so what's her name she just walked off she's yeah directing us to stand behind this uh, plastic barrier here so and pointing out that little sign she just left so this is probably her right here, maybe. Immediate disdain for the public. Hurting us. Ellen like Holmgren. Am I saying that wrong? Ellen. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. Mr. AX1 founder named that. There is an employees only past this point. It's not an official letter, but I'm going to respect it. I am here to serve papers, guys. So, Ellen Holmgren just walked back to the back office. Let me zoom in and try and uh, get the name on the door. Come back out here and help us or just leave us here? It says... She was saying to go to the city clerk. However, when I went, we went to the city clerk, we were knocking on the window and I no believe, one was there. I believe it says city manager. So, she went to the city manager's office. Okay. All right. okay. Can you help us? And uh, just calm they're, it down. They're, they're gonna be right no here. one's attacking you. Just bring the energy down. You don't have to show so much disdain. There right? you go. All right. Maybe I'll stay here. Fine. Wow. Do you see that kind of uppity attitude? That's the way, uh, so I'm here to serve the city of Pleasanton and attempt to sue a demand letter. Um, I have it addressed towards. Uh, to the city attorney, the city manager, the mayor, I'd like each one of them to get a copy of this just so they can be in the loop of what's happening. Yeah, if you have additional copies to provide us to give those individuals, otherwise we'll take one in, but we're not make, telling them to make copies, right? So you're, well, a member of the public's asking you to make to make copy and give one to each one of them. Okay, um, so I, let me check. Yeah, I yeah it's not hard to make three copies. I mean, I paid for a lot of paper for the city to have, so I'm sure you guys have three pieces of paper. I want a copy of that. That's uh, sign with that stamp. No, I want an actual physical copy in case my camera goes down. I need to have a physical copy. If you can make a copy of it, please. Um, I actually. You're allowed to make copies. It's actually law. Would, would you like I just want a copy of this. That way, if something happens, like let's say you know a month goes by, two months go by, and someone's like, "Oh, we didn't, we never got the letter." I just need a copy for my records. Would you like um, to pay twenty-five cents? Sure. If that's what you guys want to do, no problem. That's what you had to say in the first place. No, that's all I'm saying. Shouldn't have to pay twenty five cents, you know, to, to make a copy, especially when I already paid for that paper. But I'm willing to pay, pay the twenty five cents. Now, is, is that a po policy passed by the council? It's a it's a fee policy. By the council. By the council. All, all fees are approved. Okay. Yeah. So if I can, so since I'm going to pay twenty five cents, if you could make me four copies, I'd like one to go to the city attorney, one copy to go to the city manager, one copy to go to the city mayor, and then one copy for myself. So we can handle the internal. I'd like each one of them just so they're in the loop of what's happening. I know it's probably going to go directly to the attorney. Um, however, I would like the city manager and mayor to have each a copy of this so they can see what's happening in their city. Sure. So um, we can process the copies and then the payment for the copies will just have you process at our financial unit. Sure. Whatever you want to do. That's fine. So how many things do you want? So, um, well, I guess um, since I need one back for myself, okay. one for the city manager, one for the, the mayor, that's three copies additional, I guess. Do you want um, those ones back? I just want one back for me, oh, so and then, yeah, I just want one copy, but oh, the okay. other copies is so you can actually physically give one to the city manager, physically give one to the to the mayor, and then one for the city attorney. So, I, so, so your one back, would, that would just be the charge for one? 25 cents. For 25, yeah. Gotcha. That's, Perfect. That's, that's like, Perfect. Appreciate you. Confused. No, no problem. If you only want the one copy back, we'll do the one hard copy. Um, and then we'll process the payment at the counter. Perfect. Okay. And then, like I said, though, as long as uh, the city attorney, the city manager, and the city mayor each get a copy. That's my main concern. I want them each to have an individual copy. And Or if you guys scan it and do an email, whatever you got. I don't know how your system works, but I basically want to make sure each one of them, just like it says, attention there at the top there. Okay. I will make sure that we route it. Um, and then, so we'll just do the one copy now. Okay. okay. So do I pay you or where do I? No, we'll do it at the finance Okay. Office. Just give me a Okay. So guys, this last lady here, uh, I don't think we got her name. She was very helpful. Uh, you can see the one in the back actually making the photocopies. She was kind of giving some attitude. She was. Uh, you know, the same as that the lady in there, I forget her name, Pauline or whatever. Uh, Ellen? Ellen was giving attitude. Uh, that's a shame. This is a, a government building for the city to serve the people. You know, it's paid for with the people's money. We're trying to conduct business here, legitimate business, where our rights have been violated. And guys, I know 25 cents doesn't seem like a lot, but imagine if you're doing some public records that was, you know, 70 or 80 pages, and you're on a limited income. That can be very difficult. It would make it, you know, make you not want to come and get those records. 
Ma'am, be careful! Don't trip with those. Watch out! Don't, don't get stuck on your uh, your your yeah. light, your, your tire. Don't get, there. Don't get your hair. I don't want to get stuck the on the doorknob and you choke on it. Was that threatening or what was? No, I said I don't want you to get, you stuck, get stuck on. on, on I don't, don't want you to get stuck on and then choke. <laughs> Look at this lady. Well, you got an attitude, don't you? What's her name? Wow, she's gonna be a big time star. <laughs> They're gonna love her. They are gonna love you, lady. Remember, don't eat yellow snow, don't run with scissors. So this is a City of Pleasanton employee here, uh, getting paid taxpayer money, getting benefits, you know, getting health care, and uh, she wants to treat the public like that. We're just trying to conduct some business here, you know, get our copy, pay for it, and uh, get out of here. Uh, she wants to try and create and escalate things into a bigger issue. Uh, you know, she's so she's treating the right public now? with disdain here. It's sort of like looking down on us, as if her lofty government position makes her better than us. As we're as she's it as she's hard. she's we're she's charging us work. the quarter for the copy that we're about to get here. <laughs> so, you know. Just her ego. She was telling us to watch out over there, watch yeah. out over here. But then when we say something, she's like, oh, we're threatening her or asking if we're threatening her. Yeah, so, you know. Yeah, we're really going to come in, ma'am, and threaten you on camera. Come on now. Trying to give directives to adults for walking out of the Ma'am, when you get a chance, I'd like your business card. Here. So this is kind of in par with the... the Libraries and Recreation Director Heidi Murphy, what we've seen from her and her activities. This is kind of the atti attitude and the type of behavior that seems to be brewing within this city and its uh, employees. You know, hopefully there's a change in, in the culture here. Uh, hopefully we expose this and, uh, you know, some of this culture changes. You know, and this isn't a one-time shot. We're Remember, gonna keep coming. Don't trip while you're walking to get the change. Yeah. Don't this stub. Very nice. Don't I stub your toe. It. You're wearing flip-flops. Very professional. Learning how to do everything. All right. Takes time. It takes time, brother. Uh, very professional nice. to wear uh, flip-flops at work. So, uh, Mr. Ax wants to. This, this guy's been very professional. That's good. I like to see professional employees around here. All right, so we're just waiting for our change. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So your change is 1975. That's 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Do you want to take that? There you go. Okay, he's not going to Thank you very much. It's been very helpful. Too. And then remember, we need a business card. Right Ma'am, don't yeah. let the door hit your ass. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. I feel bad for the lucky fella with her or woman. Can we even call it lucky? I don't think so. Uh, he's conducting the business. I'm just here to uh, document it. I don't know. You're gonna have to speak with him. He's co he's collecting this change from the finance counter. Oh, okay. He'll be right over though. All right. We'll just wait for him. All right. So you're not wanting the business card? Uh, you you could give me one too. We're, we're separate. City clerk. Yeah, I just need her business card as well. 
the lady that would that, that came over and brought me over there, that, that's her, just to make sure. That's not you, right? That's the lady that was... That's not me. Gotcha. And then, yeah, if I can get a business card, if you have them available, one for the city manager, one for the mayor, and one for the city attorney. I don't have those. So where would I get those from? Um, I'm not sure if they have individual ones. They probably just have office ones, but okay. they're generally through our city. Usually the city managers and mayors have business cards, and they're the attorney usually, especially. They're usually um, across the way. Gotcha. Okay, I'll check in there. Does the city attorney have a separate office where I should get the business cards, or should I just check in there? Um, I would just check in. All right, you've been very helpful. Appreciate it. Right. Yeah, so if you wanted to make the request. Oh, we got the police showing up, guys. Oh. Hey, guys. Guns of police. Hey. How you guys doing? Good. Good. Excuse me. Come on. Oh. Is it okay if I talk to yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, I was kind of thinking about your business. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead and finish. All right. Excuse me, ma'am. Can so I get. Here for, uh, were you here because of us, or are you just going in there? Just checking things out. All right. So someone called because we're uh, conducting business here? We just got called because we're conducting business. Let me squeeze in there real quick. Oh. Ma'am, I had one more uh, business to conduct here. Wow. <laughs> She's probably I wonder if their body cam's on. She's probably going to say, oh, he threatened me. Maybe. <laughs> she tried to turn that into, well, I guess we're not going to do business, huh? Yeah. Not going to wait all day, guys. Another question for us. So they sent me back over to you. Um, I need a business card for the city manager, mayor, and a, the city attorney if you have it, or if you could just write their name, phone number, and email. You know what? Everything's on our website. I just, it's, I'm not really. Ma'am, have a tough time with computers. That's so rude. If you, could, if you could just hand it, get me the cards. I'd appreciate um, it. He's here in person. You're yeah, gonna send him to a website. What happened to uh, customer service? You, you just want to sit on your butt and collect money? The business card that we pay for. Can you please wait? Don't be directing well, people so to the internet. Jeez. Come on, Ellen. You can do better. That's very poor service. I'm sure she's getting a, a pretty good compensation. Like it's the end of the world, guys, just because I want some business cards. How hard is it to say, yes, we have them, or hey, we don't have them? I didn't ask her if I can get that information on the website. I'm sure I could Google their information as well. I'm not looking to Google it. While I'm here, I want a physical copy. It's that, it's that simple. So Ellen Holmgren, <laughs> we asked her for just simple three business cards, and uh, she said you could find that on the internet, on the web. Ellen, we're here in person right now. Just hand us the business cards so we could get on with our business. It's not a big deal to do your job that you're getting paid for. Yeah, I'm trying to do my job. But, okay, um, then can we get those? Ways, can we get those business cards, Ellen? Spending Ellen? a lot of my time. A lot of your time. It's only been a couple minutes, Ellen. You're the one spending time going to the back office instead of just yeah. getting the cards. You could have already been done with this transaction, Ellen. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. You spend more time going back you, there sir. because unfortunately your ego won't let you give there the you guy go. with the That's camera a card, the citizen with the card, right? City attorney, city manager. Yeah, Do you I have don't. the mayor? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Can you write down the mayor's name and it's, the it's, phone number? It's I. I or I, email the name and the email. No, actually, the phone number. Everything's on our website. Well, I'm asking you right now. Well, why don't you have a seat, please? No, I'm not going to have a seat. I'm the only one here. Yeah. We need the mayor's name. So, what, what cards do we have right there? Only the city attorney and the city manager. We yeah, need I the don't mayor. Know how to <laughs> The name, her name, I believe it's a female, and her e email, phone number and email. Everything's on our website. I'm not looking to go on your website. Yeah, we're, right we're here. here right here in person. If you don't want to work, ma'am, why don't you clock out and call it a day? Yeah, if you, if you don't want to work do, and you, do you, guys have jobs? you feel you're too old to work, why don't you just retire and let, it, let someone younger who could uh, get business? the job done take your place, right? Is that very professional as a city worker that, that we pay your salary to no, ask I'm if we have of, jobs? Yeah, I'm kind of curious. What if I have a disability, ma'am, and I'm not working? Are you trying to make me feel bad because I don't work? So That's not very professional, ma'am. Phone number. Excuse when it, me. When a customer... Uh, hi, may I help you? Why don't you tell them to go on the website? Yeah, let them know to go on a website like you've been doing why to do us. Why do they even so. have phones? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah why, are, why are you even here? 
there was two cops outside. See, the, as soon as the they went yes, they left. Yes. Okay, Ellen, we know you're talking to the city manager or one of those other people, so let's carry on. Get us the mayor's name, the phone number, and oh, the email address. Yeah, yeah, there. I right? about that. You're not, yeah. we've, we've done this hundreds of times. Man, let know them know you're helping is. someone and you're busy. You can call them back. Yeah. They can give you all the information later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. And, and what, um, you know, let me find out, and can you give me your phone number, and I can give you a call back. <laughs> I guess uh, that customer uh -huh. doesn't have to go on the internet. Okay. Yeah, I guess we have, maybe we should just call, call Ellen's number. Oh, okay. Hey, thank Get you so much. faster service here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. How come we're not telling them, asking if they have jobs? How come we're not telling them to, to go on the internet? Is it just us? Because we expect some service and you to be cordial? So once again, just the mayor, mayor's name, phone number and email. And that's it. That's it, we're out of here. We'll walk so, you through this, you can do it, Ellen. I just saw that court, uh, court thing. Uh, There's two more out there. Is there? So folks, a corporal across the way at the uh, city clerk office just took off. You already uh, got these? Yeah. Mr. AX1 says uh, there's a couple more outside. Let's see. What did she have to go? I guess the old days of, hello, sir, how may we help you? Oh, sure. No problem. Let me get that for you. I guess those don't exist here in uh, the city of Pleasanton. Uh, definitely not with Ellen Hol Holmgren. That must be a long email. Ellen will uh, <laughs> just send you to the internet. Yeah, it's easy. Go find it on the internet. Well, we're here in Ellen. We're here in person, Ellen. I can appreciate that, Ellen. If yeah. you say I called you and are like, hey, that might be an easier way, but since I'm here in person. Yeah, if I was at home, we asked for that. For sure. Oh, sure. Let me get that for you. Person's here. Give it to them in person, Ellen. This is that's the that's what good that's customer the service is. Okay, there you go. So we got the mayor here. You didn't put the na name. It says it right there. Mayor Brown? Yeah. All right, you didn't want to put the first name? That's fine. It's not out there on the picture. You're not hiding anything. All right, well, I want to say thank you for your help and service, but um, and being professional and cordial, but you know, I can only say thank you for getting us the information after struggling. Yeah, Ellen. It was like pulling teeth, Ellen. We are like I was having my teeth pulled just to get this basic information. We are gonna be back for you know other you know, conducting other business in you know the near future or if someone else says, just do us a favor, just be cordial, respectful, treat someone else how you'd want to be treated. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to be nice with you, man, but you were being very rude and hostile. Do us. better, Ellen. Imagine your grandchildren and your young, children are watching, I'm all right? Always cordial serve the nice. serve the public. You, if you're in a respectful, person, you're honorable nice, way. Me to get a job or asking if I have a job. That's your no, idea. If you had a job. Why is so that your concern? Do man? better, Ellen. Oh. You weren't saying it because you were really, truly curious. I mean, you, if you'd like, well, if you want to talk out, I can take you for a tour of my of my job and where I work. If you'd like, if you're really that curious, do you want to come with me and we'll, we'll take a drive? I'll bring you back here. Have no? a nice day. I'm guessing you really weren't curious, were you, ma'am? Have a nice day. All right. All right. Oh, if you need some help here. Oh yeah. Hi. You want to come back here? Sure. Okay. Yes, sir, is your body cam on? Oh, yes, sir. Please keep it on the whole time. No muting. We're going to be requesting that body cam footage. So she called the cops, too? Someone did. I think they're just going around educating them all. Someone did, though. Well, we wanted to way around. Yeah. We got things to do, guys. We'll, we'll put in the public records for that body cam later on. Ma'am, I'd like to do a public records with you real quick. When you get a chance. Yeah, so I'd like to get a, the, the information, the public records that I'm requesting is who actually uh, called the police? Like, was it a panic button? Did you guys call? Was it non emergency? And then who actually called? Because we're here conducting business and so we're not feeling very welcomed, we're almost feeling threatened here. We're getting surrounded by police officers just because we're turning in some paperwork and getting some information. And I know it's not you personally, I'm just letting you know how we feel. So, 
I would like to know who actually called the police and if they called the non-emergency emergency or do you guys hit like a panic button and who actually called? I just want to know who actually, like what person, what individual, was it a supervisor, was it you, was it the lady behind us, you know, was it Ellen, who called, actually called the police? Okay, so if there, that would just be, if there is such a record and... Well, there should be a record, it's all public record. Someone called, they came over here, they didn't just happen to magically pop over. So did you have, um, like, how should you... So I'd like that information, as that right there. I'd also like um, the the 2023 full salary of Ellen, that's over there in the finances. I'm sorry, not finances, uh, the, the office right behind me. So um, how can I let you know As that well you as her. when these gotcha. are ready? Um, I'm gonna give you an email. If you can email it to me, that'd be great. Okay. Yeah, your convenience hits. It's uh, A, like the letter A, X, and then number one, just like a numeric, like a one. Okay. And then audits, A-U-D-I-T-S. So A-X-1 audits mm -hmm. at yahoo.com. And I'd also like the 2023, the full name, position, and salary out the door of the person who uh, called the, the PD on us trying to appeal their rights. Yeah, more uh, consumed resources here, guys. Got those big, and that's it, man. Uh, can I add something Wait, on it? Let's do this. Yeah, I can do it. Ed, can we add, uh, I want the 2023 salary of Danielle Diaz, the deputy city clerk. I would also like to know when she was hired and if she has any disciplinary uh, actions on her. Yes. On so, her. Over here. Was, I think in there to the left, there was an officer, that wasn't your boss, but okay. I don't know either. Thank you. Thank you. Got it. So, so Danielle Diaz, her hire date, her 2023 salary, including pension and benefits. Everything out the door, like how much yeah. tax money went to her in 2023. Salary, pension, overtime, all that good stuff. And if we so get a copy of that sign and stamp, just that we received it, just in case you know our records, say my camera breaks or something, I'd appreciate it. For what? Copy it. Uh, or I can take a screenshot of that before you take it. Is yes, that you got all the stuff there? Well, you're not done, are you? All right, appreciate it. Okay. So, what do you have as far as for Daniel Diaz? Hire date and a disciplinary if she has any disciplinary actions. And that's it. You could send it to that same email. Same for both. Yeah. Okay. And then let me just get a, a picture of the little room. Thank you. And what's your name and position? I'm Jocelyn, and I'm the city clerk. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Got that sign right there for a reason. I mean, I can't go past that. Yes. So, okay. She was getting upset, guys, because I was standing over here peacefully, just waiting for the officer to ask him a question. She's trying to tell me I have to stand right over here. I even offered to put my mask on for her. Oh, she's still on that little stick. Oh. Ma'am, just just let go a little. You're, you're not here to control the public, right? You're here to serve the public. And we're not doing anything illegal or anything bad. We're conducting business. If I heard one of the officers guys talking about how we're serving papers. Yeah, we're not doing anything illegal. Hopefully they don't violate our rights when we have to serve a second set. So far, though, honestly, guys, and all the business I've had here in Pleasanton, the PD's actually been pretty respectful and cordial. Um, unfortunately, I can't say the same about these other city workers, at least not all of them. Well, that city clerk seemed to be all right. Yeah, she was nice. That she was, was all right. Yeah. yeah. She was nice. The deputy? The gentleman, actually, who took our money. Yeah, nice. the finance guy. Deputy city clerk, wow. Major attitude. 
L in here, major attitude. Administrative assistant. Right. See those officers are going to come out, or they're going to sneak out the back entrance. Just want to get a business card from each one of them. Incident number, and we'll be on our way. Yeah. We'll call this one a wrap, and hopefully we don't have to come back here for a while. I'm sure Ellen would love that. God forbid uh, she'd actually have to help someone peacefully. Got it. We're going to wait out here just in case we go in a different door, guys. Yeah. God, for, God forbid someone doesn't have internet. They can't get no help from Ellen. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I'll do and a quick scan. Uh, I don't see. Oh, there's one vehicle. It's just a generic screen on there. You can see they got the cam on there. So that's it. Carla Brown is the mayor. Yeah, the lady was helping when she came out again. Is this where the bathroom is? Oh, the city clerk? Yeah, the lady that was taking her. Okay, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Hey, did that police officer already leave? I didn't see them leave, oh. but I wasn't always here, so... Oh, I thought he went back to talk to you. I was trying to get an incident number from him. Oh, I have no Oh, there idea. he is. How's it going? Hello. Can I, can I get an incident number? Uh, yeah. All right. You mind if we come out here some Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, I, so I asked him for an incident number. Yeah, I got one. Yeah, I got one. Yeah, if I can get a business card from each one of you, I would appreciate it. Yeah. If you guys have them. Can I get the incident number? Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Who do I have the pleasure to speak with? Uh, just Thank a you. insurance citizen that was here filing some uh, okay. paperwork, which I heard you guys talking about back there. Okay. Um, as I was telling my viewers, you guys have actually been pretty awesome, all the encounters I've had over the years with you guys. That's so the incident back. number, and my information's on the other side. Uh, so I do appreciate it, just yeah. so you guys know that. Oh, I'm Matt, by the way. Matt, gotcha, appreciate it. Concerned citizen and... Concerned citizen, citizen, too. Okay. Yeah, we just, we just came That's here to file some, uh, the sergeant, some paperwork yeah. sent to sue on, honestly. Okay. Because they're violating our rights, you know, so we're, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you, because it's going to come out. You know, we, we, we're independent journalists, we're gathering content for stories. We disseminated this story about a week ago, I did. Mm -hmm. And basically, after disseminating it, one of the, Heidi Murphy, which I'm sure you guys are all familiar with, you know, she's a she makes a lot of money from tax dollars. I mean, if you look up her twenty three salary, it's like around three four hundred k. I don't remember exact numbers, but it's a lot with all her pension benefits and whatnot. Yeah. And I'm not giving out personal information like where she lives or you know, I'm not telling people, hey, call her and harass her or anything. I even actually did the opposite. I'm like, hey, if anyone calls, please be respectful and cordial awesome. you know, as far as that goes. Um, if they happen to call, yeah. So there's only a small little clip out of the whole story. She's only like maybe under fifteen seconds of it, and it just has her picture. And her her work phone number and yeah. her name, you know, and her official position here with the city of Pleasanton, and she put a privacy complaint, which I can't stop her from doing. Yeah. But you look at the timestamp; it was while she was on the clock. So I bet you when we when we do some records on those browsers, I'm sure it's going to show that she most likely that could be wrong. She could have used her personal phone or device. Yeah. But most likely she did it while she was working, and even if she wasn't working as a city worker, that's that's prior restraint. You can't censor members of the public legally from disseminating information to to the public. Honor, that's a violation of our rights. Honor, so that's the only reason we're here. We're not here to cause trouble or give anyone a hard time. You guys have always been awesome in general, um, so I do appreciate that. Yeah. Um, however, I'll be honest, there's a couple got people here that were pretty actually nice as well. The lady right here was awesome, phenomenal. Yeah. Um, City clerk. Person in the finance, a young kid, I think he's learning or training. He was phenomenal, yeah. great customer service skills. Awesome. But um, I think it's Ellen back there, you know, she was freaking out from the get-go. Just when we're asking her questions, she's asking me, oh, you don't have a job? 
I mean, how professional is that? And what if I really don't have a job? What if I'm disabled? You know, for whatever reason, I just can't find a job. That's my business. But to say, to tell someone that, trying to make them feel bad, especially when she's on the clock getting paid by tax dollars, that's unacceptable behavior. You know, on there, in my humble opinion. Yeah, so I would say, I mean, and you guys aren't wearing yeah. masks, but I wonder if she freaked out. You know, like, you know, I saw a public worker walk right by her, and she didn't care. As soon as I walked by, she's like, you guys have to wear masks and you know this and that. I'm like, I don't have to wear a mask, but out of respect, I put it on just to help her out. That's nice. So a lot of times people just get, they kind of freak out when they're on camera. They don't understand everything completely. I don't, maybe they do more, but yeah. sometimes just emotions get to people because it's not a situation that yeah. people are put in a lot, which you guys kind of exposing them to that. And so it's just one thing I just ask that. If once you guys have concluded your business, whatever yeah. you, you're doing that you, well, I was, I was hoping, you know, that I was actually hoping to speak to see if they have like an open door policy to speak with the city manager and or mayor for like 10 minutes. They don't have it though, no. so I'm going to try to schedule something. Yeah, that'd be something that's good. Um, because honestly, I'd like to see them on your way. No, you're uh, I mean, going in there. Gotcha. Uh, so honestly, I'd like to have a chat with them and see what we can do as a, yeah. you know, so that's to work, something to, to work to together as a community. Yeah. So when we come out recording, and if anything, to say, hey, how's it going? Hello, hey, can I get you a bottle of water? Yeah. Yeah. I know it's not their job, you know, but just to be nice. No, I get, get it. On there. I'm, you know, like I said, it. It does intimidate people sometimes, and I don't know why. Just sometimes people don't know how to react. They see stuff on TV yeah. and they see it go bad. And just like there's and good so. cops, bad cops, there's good auditors, bad auditors, yeah. you know, good journalists, bad journalists, you know, for example. You know, if I was sticking the camera in her face, I'm trying to break down her door, I could understand that. When I'm being respectful, I'm standing, you know, six, seven feet away. I'm trying to stand behind a little partition glass like she asked me originally. I was even putting my mask on originally. Yeah. And then, you know, when I'm asking her for just a business card, she told me, well, you can go online. <laughs> I know I can go online, but if I'm here in person, how hard is it to hand me a business card that the people pay for? Yeah, that's you know, something you have it's to It's not that hard. It's just a simple request. Like, you guys you guys didn't give me any issue no. for asking for a business card. Maybe if it was your last one, you might, no. you know, but... Uh, no, I don't care. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, but they, yeah. you know, you, that's, that's, that's how it should be. So, yeah. uh, anything else for us? We got... Just no, because, we're good. I appreciate okay. it. I appreciate, I appreciate you. you guys have a good day. All right. Have a good day. Whoa, careful. You need that one on camera? I'll, I'll do it. Oh. I missed it. Uh, Can you do it while we're talking? Like I said, if you guys have concluded your business, no, we're, we're if you guys have cool business. take off, then. Oh, yeah, no, we're, just, we're still working on some business. And I mean, just there's button pushing. Obviously, yeah. you guys are. are yeah, I'm not here that. to push buttons. I know. I'm, I'm just saying, do your business. Screen. If you guys move on, they're trying to do things as well. But I we appreciate you guys being here. You guys have a good day. I would recommend let them know that we can't prevent them from working. Gotcha. Oh, you're right. I'm just saying, it is a distraction. Whenever anybody's coming here with the camera, it's going to be a little bit of a mystery. I get it. And you don't think it's a distraction when she's making my job harder when she could have just handed me a business right. card. So that's all I ask. You guys have a good one. Yeah, take right. care. You too. So we'll be here till five o'clock, guys, when they close. He started off pretty good, but there goes the directors, guys. It's true colors. We're slowly coming out. I guarantee it. If he would have stayed, it would have got ugly. Uh, for sure. The, the directors <laughs> started coming out at the end. Huh? going to follow you or give you a hard time or yeah. steal your ballot. <laughs> I'm already nervous about dropping this off if it makes it there. Vote in peace. I you know, got I it. tell you, you never know what today's no. day and age, huh? No, look what happened yesterday in, in Washington and Oregon. Oh, what happened? I must well, have missed it. Two boxes are different. Yeah. But um, they, in two of the boxes in Portland and one in Washington, they threw, I guess you still could, they threw an incendiary device Oh wow! In, in the box, and so they all burned up. And what? Would, how did the person do that? Why would they want to do that? Because what if you were voting for that person they like? Doesn't make any sense. But that's why I like to go hand mine in person. Can I tell? <laughs> See, now you're making me feel guilty. That's how I do. I, I've never trusted mailing, and my wife is yep. always telling me, "Oh, mail your." Mail I your always do mine in person. The, the sample ballot. I've always done mine in person, but I don't. It's easy to do it now, but then you never know, like, what's going to really happen to your vote. It's up to you though. You got to make your own decision. I mean, I don't think they're going to tamper. I with mean, you. that's convenient. Pleasanton's pretty safe. In yeah, general, it's a pretty safe place. Right here. If you're in the middle of the South, maybe. <laughs> Shut up. People don't realize that what makes America America is all the just an array of different people and different nationalities. That's what makes us great, yeah. in my opinion. But it is what it is. I think I do think we need to stop the border. I do agree. There's nothing with wrong with having a strong border. But. Uh, I mean, yes. I want people to come here and work and do the jobs we don't want to do, but we need to do it the right way. <laughs> I'm wrong. Okay. 
let's be honest, you ever see a white person doing landscaping? Never. No. Well, actually, I, to yeah. be fair, my neighbor actually, I've known him for 30 years, uh, Ricky, he's over in Santa Cruz. He's an awesome landscaper. He has his own business. Probably the only one, though. Yeah. But one, one thing I can tell you, though, when's the last time you've seen a Mexican standing on the corner begging for money? Or when's the last time you've seen a white person standing at Home Depot trying to work when they don't have a job? Ask yourself that question. I do all the time. <laughs> and um, when I've hired Mexicans to work in my house, I I have to call my son-in-law to, to translate. I know a little bit of Spanglish. That's about it. I've been with my wife for 30 years. I can't have a full conversation. <laughs> Can't teach an old dog new tricks, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> You're just too old, yeah. you know? Anyway, all right. All right. Good luck. Take care. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just Happy gonna, voting. This Happy is voting. The first, this is the first time I've done this. We'll make sure nobody tampers with the box yep. while we're here. We'll guard it the whole well, time the we're here. Said, the cops said you can, they come by here all the time. I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, the or us? No, they come by here all the oh, time. Oh, to pick it up? Oh, yeah. He said we're right next to it. But see, I, I would think they have cameras. The, the cops are right there. You and see their camera? I know. And that's right. how they caught. They think they have a lead on the guy that did this because there's cameras all over today. Yes. That's horrible. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, three boxes. So, and anyway, yeah. No, Trump said, oh. I don't know if you're for him or against him. You probably won't want to go see the movie The Apprentice. If you went to see the movie... I better turn my camera off for this one. I'm not for him. <laughs> well, no, I'd rather vote for a rock. And you know, we I know just, I'm gonna piss we off just, a lot of my viewers. We just came from. Um, you're not recording me, are you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, let me turn it off. You were. The whole time, yes, ma'am. Why? What's well, that? On a story on the yeah. city hall. Why would you do that, though? What do you mean? Why would you approach someone and, and get into a great conversation you knowing that we have cameras? You knew you were on camera. You saw our cameras around yeah. the whole But time. I didn't know you were, I thought you turned them off. Oh. Oop, by going like this, holding them up? Yeah. Here. Should I get oh, up? Ma'am. I'll you pay you for the content. No. No? It's a hundred dollar bill. It's real. No. Can I get your permission to use it? No. I don't want to be on camera. Oh. We weren't talking nice things. That, I mean, what do you mean, not nice? Well, most of the it's conversation just your opinion. Just... We just record for while while can you, we're documenting. Can you just take it out then. And, well, a lot of it does come out. Uh, and, you know, not all of it, but I can't guarantee all of it. Will, you know, some of it, you know. Like if there's any information like that has your name, or I didn't see how the ballots look, but if they have yeah. your personal information, we're not going to get your plate. Yeah, I won't anything. put your personal information or anything. Yeah. No, but and you didn't give us your name or you know your address or anything. You're good. But yeah. People know me. And you were very nice, ma'am. Shining like a star. Yeah. <laughs> well, ma'am, now they're going to get to know you a little bit more. Don't take, take it out. Take it out. I can't, ma'am. My you delete button is broken. You offered you $100. I did offer you $100. I can give you a complimentary mask. It's not used. In return. I'd give you money, but I'm kind of broke. Goodbye. All right, ma'am. Have a good night. Uh -huh. That's one way to get back so we can get back to our story is uh, when she realized the cameras were on, she was like, wait a minute, what the Nah, she on? knew it was on. I think she knew. Yeah, she's so, just playing around. Alright, let's hold on. Let me get it. My camera's even right out here. Let's see what we got here. They had to go on that little Oh, that's the awesome city clerk right there. We just came to say goodbye and wish you a blessing. Yeah. And, uh, oh, well, you thank you for your service. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. You guys yeah. have a nice day. Too. Thank you for your diligence and uh, directing people to the internet. Uh, doing an excellent job. Yeah. Okay. Bye -bye. <laughs> Actually, what I wanted to say, I'm going to be sarcastic, but uh, <laughs> ABA got right to the point. There you have it, guys. Walk through Pleasanton City Hall. Let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts on this one.
All right, guys, there you have it. That was Pleasanton City Hall. Uh, Mr. AX1 served the papers, letter of intent to sue. Uh, I got the copies, he paid the fees. We uh, filed some FOIA requests. The police department, as you saw, was very professional. And uh, yeah, gave us the business cards, incident number, you know. Talk to us in a courteous manner and pro provide a very good service. And in case you're wondering, that is the police department right there, the parking lot. It's just right next to the city hall. So uh, this guy, I guess he didn't have much to do, work to do. He's been out here for quite a while. Uh, he was trying to get into that office, but he didn't want to go in there because the cameras, I guess. Another uh, government employee that doesn't want to be on camera, but he just came out here to chit chat on his phone, I guess. Uh, let's see. There we go. In there. Separate public records for Heidi Murphy on her vacation. I forgot to do that over there. Oh, yeah. Because this is human resources. She's like, yeah, I gotta do this. Make sure I can talk to him. So, folks, uh, Anthony's been here for probably about seven minutes. I've been here a couple minutes. Uh, he wanted to do a records request, and the uh, lady tried to tell him to go do it online, and then went to the back there. So, uh, I guess. She's done with her work day just because, you know, someone's trying to do a records request here. Uh, kind of on par for what we've seen with the city of Pleasanton. No, Is maybe that, she was busy. coming back out or? Wasn't sure what's going on. Oh, had to do whatever. I mean to rush you. I just thought maybe you forgot about us or oh. something. No, no, no. Well, I'm going to have you pulled out because of my disability. Okay. So it's just Heidi Murphy, which is uh, the... Oh, let me... Take your time. Okay, so I apologize. She was making a form, a little abruptive form. That's awesome. Twenty-nine. Let's see from there. And your name, please. Just a guy, concerned citizen. You can put it. I'll give you an email if you like. Okay. The A X, and then just a number one. A U D I T S, so A X one audits uh -huh. at yahoo.com. Okay. And the request? The request is that regarding Heidi Murphy during the month of September 24, I'd like to know if she had any vacation days and what days those were. Any day she was not working, as far as like her regular work schedule, which is Monday through Friday, any day she didn't show up to work. Public record. And particularly September 24th, if she was working, what were her hours that day? Including what time did she clock out for lunch and what time did she clock back in? So, what time she started work, what time she finished work, and what time she took her lunch? Particularly September 24th. And okay, then, so let me just make sure. sure you want vacation days for the month of September. Yeah, if she took any. If not, you can just put, you know, it doesn't apply. So vacation or what was the other? And then on on the 24th particularly, what were, what hours did she work? Like what were her, you know, I'm, not, I'm sure if it's salary or she has to still clock in or not, but if she does clock in, what time she started, what time she finished, and what time she took her lunch. If they log it. And then I would also like to know it. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. October, yesterday, October 28th, if Heidi Murphy was working that day. And if so, again, what time she clocked in, what time she clocked out, and what time she took her lunch, from what time to what time. 
Yeah. Browser history for the day for her yeah. computer, work computer. Like for yesterday, the 28th, um, I would like to a copy emailed of her browser history, anything that's not confidential. Just a history of what she searched on her work computer or work phone. Ma'am and sir, I see you in the reflection just standing there with your arms crossed. If you guys could get back to work, you're getting paid taxpayer money. Unless you want to come out here and listen and help. It's considered eavesdropping. They shouldn't be doing that. Wiretap laws, that's not right. Okay, copy of browser history. Anything that was searched on work computer or phone. Or tablet or any work devices. Just for, and, then, and that one for the work history, for the browser history, that's just for yesterday, October 28th, 2024. I don't want you guys to go crazy looking at all the search history. And at your convenience, if I can get a copy of that signed and stamped or dated for my record, I appreciate it. Well, also, basically, what we do is I'll input this. Okay. And you'll receive an email and it'll be assigned a number. Yeah, let me just take a picture of it then. That's fine. Okay. Just look for this for my record. Perfect. Make two records here. All right. And and whatever, is, whatever is the outcome of gotcha. the email. And are, is that you on the, your, your name for the record? Just so I know who took it? Sandra. Sandra. Appreciate it. Well, you've been very helpful. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Sandra. Have a good day. Yeah. Thank you. All right. All right. Okay, guys, so we got our public record. They got 10 days to uh, respond. Whether they give me that info is another story. We'll see how uh, transparent they are. Just had to say that while she was there, so she knows we're watching. Maybe you already came down here. Let me just take a quick peek. Got some bathrooms, water fountain. I would have left it if you wouldn't have interrupted me. You could have saw it. This is Anthony. Right? So it's here. Yeah. So this is a private room? That's this? our conference room. Yeah, but where does it say private? I'm just curious. Um, it's implied. It's not implied. I mean, you got to be very, you know, wording is very specific, especially when you work for the city. It's very important. This is a room that's reserved. Yeah, and I can see if there was time. people, if the door was closed and you have people you having a meeting. Closed. But since we're not having a meeting. Yeah, so I mean, that should mean you should be just looking around here. Yeah, I'll be honest. As soon as you walk out, I'll walk out too. Um, I appreciate the um, chivalry. Yeah. But I'll let you go first. Yeah, ladies first. Not today. Well, I guess you're gonna have to call somebody. Okay. Uh, can I sit down too? My back is sore. Oh, she's calling. She's actually calling someone. It's not a restricted area, ma'am. I didn't say who I was calling. No, I think this is not a restricted area though for you to call someone. To waste resources. When I said I'd walk out, but you're just, it's like you're letting your ego get the best of you. Ma'am, it's kind of weird with the lights off. Can we turn it back on? No, I don't want you to say we touched you or something. Or... Yeah. As soon as you walk out, ma'am, I'll follow you. Get out of your way, ma'am. There we oh. go. Good Oof. job. We could do it. Yeah, we're not here to cause problems, ma'am. He was just checking out the conference room. It doesn't say private or anything. Yeah, and conference room, like I said, that's for conferences. And obviously, if there was a conference. Well, yeah, but if there was a conference taking place and yeah we would respect it you know assume that hey we shouldn't be in there but this is an open hallway okay. so i'm gonna stay right here okay. i might use the restroom before i leave What time does your department close? 5 p.m. 5 p.m. I'll be out here in three minutes then. I won't stay past that. So we've got three minutes, guys. How hard would it just let us uh, do our thing for a few minutes? Not worth getting in a big argument or debate over standing in a conference room. I mean, we don't have anything confidential in there. At least I would hope not. 
kind of request it. Do you have any questions regarding it? Or is it, I guess you guys can just email me within 10 working days or business days? As soon as I get a chance to enter, you'll get the first email. Oh, the first email. Gotcha. 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 And it'll be time stamped for whatever time it enters. Gotcha. I'm sure being later today, probably be tomorrow or the next day after. So I would hope. All right. You have a wonderful day, Thank you for your help. All right. Thank you, Sandra. All right. There you have it, guys. She was not bad, but she definitely was not good. All right, guys. It looks like all the big wigs back there are taking off. Got the deputy clerk there. I don't need your directives, ma'am. Just get in your car and you drive safer, right? Put your seatbelt on. What a clown she is. Absolute clown this woman is. What's that? Oh, the drop box is right up there, sir. Yeah. I'll tell them, guys, I was doing some research, and I believe if you're in a county with more than 50,000 or 100,000 people, by yeah. law, emergency people have to have their lights on when they're parked. Oh, really? If they're in the street or road, even if it's... Oh, yeah, you were, I remember you said that. Yeah, he's trying to say because it's private property or public property, I mean... What's the difference between public property on the street or public property in the, in the parking lot? Uh, 
here and make sure everyone can get to their car safely and the big bad cameraman doesn't catch them. We're not here to harm anyone. Gotta have it on, guys. That would have been you and me. If he wanted to be a dick, he could give us a ticket for not having a seatbelt while we're parked. I'm gonna go on the other side. That is messing up my angle. 